down and sung, how are you, skies above? Gee, it's great to be down in love. You look so good. Good morning. Good morning. Life. Oof, that's a walk into a wall. This is me. Happy, so happy Easter. Today we are, we are, I am 39 weeks pregnant. Me too. <laughs> yes, at this point. No baby yet. We've been hoping and trying. Um, this morning, though, started off very exciting because I woke up screaming in agony. Andrew came running out to see what was wrong, and um, I pulled. I had like a Charlie horse. I had a massive cramp in my uh, calf. So, but he was great. You were. <laughs> Sorry, he's flossing his teeth. Um, and he massaged my leg for me. And then we got bagels. And now we're just getting ready to go see the Familia for Easter. And we've got... This is all packed. There's so much more down here. But packed and ready to go for dessert. And I just need to put shoes on and I think I'm ready to go. I don't think, uh... Where are you? She's over here. Right there. There's Neeks. Fritz is getting some fun bathing. Okay. Happy Easter, baby. Happy Easter. You look so good. In the light? Oh, gosh. This is very nice. Thanks. Is the watch too much? No, the watch looks fine. I took one of these pin things. Uh huh. And? I'm trying to. I'm struggling. What are you trying to. So, like, are you trying to. clip things? Yeah, except it's just. It's not gonna work! No, especially it's gonna look weird anyways because my hair tie. My hair thing, but I need it for my hair. Alright. <laughs> So I had my, uh, oh, excuse me, mm -hmm. I had my 39 week, uh, checkup today and I'm home now from it and basically everything looks good, but I am now two, almost three centimeters dilated and I'm having lots of contractions. Um, apparently though, like they're pretty like big, strong contractions and I'm not really feeling them. Um, like the lady was like, oh, you're having contraction right now. Ooh, it's pretty big. You feel it? And I'm like, kind of like I, I knew I was having a contraction, but I wasn't like in pain. Um, and then the doctor checked me and said, you know, baby's low and two, three centimeters dilated. And basically he wants me to lay on my left side, which I'm doing right now for the day. Not the whole day, but, you know, most of the day. Because um, apparently it's supposed to help. And then um, to call him if I either my water breaks, I'm having excruciating pain with my contractions, or my contractions start getting five minutes apart. And I'm just, I really suck at uh, 
counting my contractions because I get bored and I don't really, they kind of, I don't know, they kind of stack on top of each other. So I never know really when to stop counting and when to start counting. And then because they're not painful, I don't always really notice I'm having one until halfway through and so on and so forth. But I am having some back pain. So hopefully that's kind of a sign that labor's happening. Um, but that's about it. There's not too much really to share. Andrew went to the appointment with me. And like right now I'm vlogging on my phone because I need to get a whole bunch of stuff onto my computer and do the 38 vlog, 38 week vlog and get stuff out of my memory card. And it's funny because I feel like I have so much I need to get done and I just don't want to get it done. But I'm like, if I go into labor, I'm going to be so mad, but I probably also won't care at the same time. I have more to share with you all. I'll share it later. I think I'm going to try to nap because I didn't sleep too well um, last night and see how I feel when I wake up and just get some stuff done. I need to clean around the house and yeah. Ooh. And hopefully, hopefully baby's coming soon. That's all I can say. Four more days until his due date. So hopefully, hopefully he is coming very soon. <laughs> I'm petting the cat, but watch face oh nope he's already gonna go in for the kill nope he's gonna go in for licking the butt so he likes to if i'm petting her he then needs to intercept in some way so now he's gonna he's gotten closer because this is unacceptable and look at the panic on his face that i'm giving her attention and not him And then eventually he will make his move to get in between us, but he creeps and then he just looks at me like, you never give me love, which is not the truth. She barely ever comes over and gets attention because he's always hogging it. Oh, so he's going to act sad instead. And she's so happy because she barely gets attention. Ow! Because he usually hogs it. Or tackles her. I do no such thing, mommy. Which I will give him some love. So you don't think I'm ignoring him. But then he... And let's see, gotta get closer, gotta get closer, and now, he, now he's ahead of her, therefore I have to give him more attention than I have to give her, in his brain at least. I'm down two SD cards. <laughs> These two are just being completely useless SD cards at the moment, which sucks. But um, I have this one 16 gigabyte, but it's still kind of useless. I have to go uh, delete stuff on my other my other camera to get more space on that SD card. So now I'm using the 64 gigabyte SD card, which I kind of didn't want to use at all until I knew I was in labor, but I think we're almost in the clear. I'm not in labor yet. Um, let's see. What's today? It's March 30th at 5.57 p.m. right now. Um, around 4 o'clock. Let's see. Uh, actually, around like 3.30, I started having a whole bunch of contractions, and they started getting pretty consistent. This is not helping you, and Andrew's texting me, of course. Of course, like, I was like, I'm going to vlog when he's not texting me, so this won't be annoying. And then I started vlogging, and he started texting me again. Um, anyways, and so... My doctor really wanted me to start keeping track of my contractions because I'm at three, or close to three centimeters dilated. Um, 
and those like started, you know, when he wanted me to come, I should come in if they're five centimeters, or five centimeters apart, if they're five minutes apart. And those started getting like a pattern and I was getting down to like three minutes apart, but I was like, I still didn't feel like I was in labor though. Um, just cause like they're not really hurting. And, um, I was up, I was vacuuming the house. I was kind of cleaning around and took the dog on a walk. So I was kind of like, all right, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to see if they go away. And they kind of pretty much did go away. Um, I was still having contractions, just not consistent like that. Um, but Andrew and I kind of feel like labor is near right now. If nothing happens, um, after I say this, then whatever. But, uh, labor I think is near. So we're kind of, I'm about to get in the bath right now go on a walk, do some more cleaning, and kind of just get really, really start to get this house or apartment even closer to ready once it's actual real go time. Um, so yeah. And then I took the time, which is why I was talking about the SD cards, because I took the time to get my 38 week stuff off the cards and onto the computer. I think I lost a whole bunch of footage somehow between all the SD cards because we were having issues. I'm a little annoyed, but it is what it is. Hopefully, though, the most important part is the labor part. The labor and delivery part, that's all I care. As long as the footage is good there, I don't really care about the rest. Um, as far as inducing labor has gone, we've pretty much tried almost everything. So, we have a few more tricks up our sleeve, but we've tried almost everything to get labor started. Um, so we shall see. <clears throat> Good morning, happy Friday. <laughs> it's April Fool's Day. Um, and it is 7.57 a.m. Am I reading that correct? Or 58 a.m. Did I say p.m.? You said a.m. Um, so right now we are contraction counting. And I'm definitely, um, definitely having contractions that I can feel some pain to now. Uh, last night we had some while I was on my walk, but once I took a bath after my walk, they went away for the most part. Like, they just, but also on my walk, they were also like, what, a minute apart, so. Yeah. Um, the doctor wants me to come in at five minutes, five minutes apart. And we're kind of close to this, according to the counter, we're at 6 minutes and 55 seconds average apart, but the length of the contractions aren't very long, and I don't know if that's just because it takes me forever to get it started on my phone or not, um, because, you know, sometimes it'll turn off and then I have to turn it back on and stuff. Um, but yeah, and Andrew's getting ready for work, but he's trying to debate whether or not he should go to work mm -hmm. and um because I mean his work's right down the street from the hospital but not from here yeah not from here and so he doesn't want to drive to work and then me be like no just kidding I'm really in labor come back and get me um so yeah, we're just kind of debating that because I feel horrible if he doesn't go to work and then this is nothing. So, that's what we're debating. We got some of our stuff just right here waiting to go with us. Mm, baby, what are your thoughts? Why are you nervous? Because we're about to have a baby. Mm -hmm. So you think this is the real I think thing? This is it. Like now, of all the times you thought this was it, well, you think this is really it? We weren't doing anything to start the contractions. Like mm -hmm. you weren't walking around, or moving around, or anything. Yeah, I just woke up. Yeah, you just woke up. It's like okay, I think this is it. But I think I'm just gonna email work or email doing or whatever, and just be like, hey. 
maybe coming in a little late, may not be coming. Yeah. You think that's a good idea? Yeah. Just in case we don't get another uh, bump like update, and here's my 39 week pregnant bump. Baby is pretty much all on this side. Give me a little movement when I'm right doing that right there. And oh my god, today he has just been, I mean, all throughout my, not all throughout my pregnancy, but through the third trimester at least, he's been lodged right here. And today it's just been super painful. So, like, I feel like right here is all bruised because of him. Whew. So I'm about to go on a walk. I'll put a shirt on, don't worry. But I just wanted to kind of document the belly. Oh, baby boy. So it is now 3.41 p.m. on April Fool's Day, April 1st, 2016. And no baby. <laughs> um, I was having the contractions and they were kind of painful. Andrew stayed for a little bit and about 9.30ish, maybe 9.15, I was like, alright, they're getting farther apart. They went from being an average of 6 minutes to 13 minutes. And I was like, and I'm tired, I want to kind of go back to sleep, go to work. Um, I'll let you know if anything changes. So, And nothing's changed, I haven't really had any, at least painful contractions. Um, so, he's at work. And I'm going to go on a walk though. Which I know the walk's going to give me contractions. Um, and they're not going to be necessarily reliable contractions until I get home and rest and see if they continue. Um, but the re that's the reason why we kind of thought maybe it was go time is because I was, I woke up and I was just laying there and I was having those contractions. So we will see. And it's kind of, maybe that was uh, Bennett's April Fool's joke on us. But I definitely, I do think it's going to be happening soon. I think, like, I feel like we're going in tonight or at least today. Um, I don't know if we're having him today, but I do feel like that's the case. And obviously I'm going to feel like an idiot if that's not, that, that doesn't happen. But that's how I'm feeling. And I think Andrew feels the same way. But I'm just... I am... I am so ready. And we've tried, like, eating the pineapple. And all the, like, little tricks that they keep telling you. And so far, nothing. But... I am so ready for him to be here. So I'm just gonna, I'm actually, once I go on the walk and depending on how I feel, I'm, like I said, we already started putting the stuff out in the living room and I'm gonna start adding more things to my bag and getting ready because it's gonna be soon. If it's not today or tomorrow, it's still gonna be soon. Like, the way Andrew and I look at it is, I mean, I'm 40 weeks on Sunday, so... I'm trying to think. I think it's two more days left, so seven plus two. Like, I at least have ten, nine to ten days until we have a baby, um, no matter what. Because <laughs> then, by 41 weeks, I'd be induced. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go on a walk. First, is going to be super stoked that we're going on a walk, especially during daytime, <laughs> not nighttime. Um, and we'll see.
8.37 a.m. on April 2nd, and I can't sleep because I'm having contractions. And they, they started, you know, I've been having contractions obviously all day, which we talked about. Um, but they started becoming really more painful and consistent at about 10 p.m. yesterday. Um, Andrew and I, as I, in the vlog, you'll see that we went out and had dinner and downtown and just walked around a little bit. Um, and then when we got home, I started really feeling it. I took a bath. And so, like, around 10 p.m. last night, they started, like, hurting. Um, but they weren't really that consistent. But they've become all the way into now it's 1.38 a.m. on April 2nd. They started becoming more painful and more consistent. Um, they're right now nine minutes apart, but about every eight minutes I'm having a strong contraction. Um, so because I can't sleep and Andrew's passed out out there, I'm currently gonna just... I went around and I started, um, gathering everything for sure that we would need. And I'm probably not even done yet, but now I'm looking in Bennett's room and I'm like, I just vacuumed in here and it looks dirty. I want to vacuum again, but that will t probably definitely wake Andrew up. And I don't want to have to wake him up until it's time to wake him up. Um, but we've been, I know I've been saying this for the past like three days, but I really think, I think it might be time or we're getting to time to head to the hospital. So we will see. Well, but they're, they're definitely getting painful. Not bad, like, horrible pain yet, but they're definitely getting there. Alright, it's 2.06 and I'm now looking Andrew up. And almost about, if it'll focus, will focus. Well, if you can make out through all that blurriness five minutes apart. That's a quick contraction. Mm hmm. Oh, Andrew's making his coffee. Ooh. Uh, Mykonos could care less. Uh, got our stuff packed over here. Andrew just needs to pack. Hopefully, not going to forget anything. Sure, we will. Whatever. Fritz can care less. for a few more contractions before I text my doctor and then we'll head out over to the hospital. Cool. I'm gonna make this up though. <laughs> All right, bye Fritz. You know you're not happy. Oh, I feel a contraction coming on. Bye Mykonos. Are you bringing... Yeah, are you bringing your shoes? No? Okay. Oh, you're so much hard. Mm-hmm. I'm to All right, it Juicy. is 2.30 a.m. We are leaving the apartment. The keys are in my hand if you want to take them to put them under the mat. Thank you. Uh-huh. We're going to have a baby. We're having a baby. This is real this time, I think, hopefully. Real. I don't... Everything changes. <laughs> I don't think I'll be sent home. I hope not. I'll be very disappointed. Did you bring diapers? Uh, there's, yeah, I have diapers. I mean, they provide them anyways, but I have okay. diapers, yeah. Blankets and everything? Yep, there's... everything's okay. in there. Okay. All right. Let's go. Nope. All I wanted is <laughs> to say good Sam. <laughs> good Sam. Ha ha ha, good joke. Gotta get the dad jokes ready, right? I love you. I love you. Oh. 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 Sorry. Yeah, you provide great footage for me. Hi there, my girlfriend is having contractions for me. Thanks. I didn't know what to say. Very frequently. You're 
baby. It's uh 340. Oh, it's heating up. And, um, oh, yes. the <laughs> nurse came in and checked me. Very sweet lady. <laughs> but she checked to see if I was dilated, and I don't think I've ever had a more uncomfortable experience. She was up there forever. About 15 minutes. <laughs> like, no joke. But, like, also, I, like, I felt like she could just be fisting me. <laughs> Her entire hand in it. Basically, it felt like that. Does she have small hands? I think that's, that's, what, I think that's the thing. I think she just has small hands and fingers. Like, she was like, oh, yeah, the babies ran so high. I was like, I'm pretty sure doctor, the doctor said that he was a super low. Yeah, like super low. And so that's like, also, though, like the difference is she's checking me like this, and like when I'm with Dr. Lau, I'm like in stirrups. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, anyways, it was a very odd. Do you feel violated? <laughs> I was just kind of like looking at it. I was just like, I, I can't tell if her face is making me want to say something or. I just, I couldn't look at you because your face was just like, the fuck? I was just like, are you kidding me? It's been, after five minutes, I was like, okay, maybe she's just taking her sweet, sweet time. And then like 15 minutes roll around, I'm like, okay. Oh, here's my direction. She's been in you for quite a while. Oh, yes, I had to look away because I was going to burst out laughing. I could tell. And then. Well, that's the excitement for this morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, give a tour of our room. And we're number 10, which I'm stoked about. Here's the room. Let's see. I don't know what's over here, but that's hospital stuff. The trash. It's the bathroom. The sink. We got one with a tub. Oh, yeah. It looks like it's under construction. Wait, Those are birth. Those are birthing balls. I guess. And then yeah, that's where the little guy will be. Oh, I like where he's gonna be. I can definitely like see him very well in that one. But here, I don't under, this is what I don't like about every hospital I've ever been in or this hospital. Why are the the two seats in here right there? I don't know. Like just from my angle. Do you, well, so well, when she like moved herself, I like looked away so I wouldn't see. Oh, I didn't even see everything. Yeah, so I looked away. You're welcome. Thank you. But that's what I'm saying. Like, so, like, God forbid if somebody else came, I can have two other people in here. Front row seat? Yeah. Freaking... That's cute. <laughs> uh, Alright. I'll update you once I get admitted, I think. Okay. Four oh five. So, um, they spoke to the on call doctor, and it looks like they're going to send me home, keeping me on the monitor a little bit longer. Wayne. It's not really valid, but that's what I think. Yeah. Great. They're wrong! I thought you were too. I thought you were at almost at a three. Congratulations, you're going that reverse labor. Really?
Right. Which is why you waited until like 3 a.m. Well, <sighs> if Barry keeps this up, we'll be here a lot longer since his heart rate keeps going in and out. So we'll see. Oh yeah, no, yeah, he's fine. I know. I'm sorry. We'll give them another update soon. Okay.